Hey everyone, it's Ruby Owl. Today I'm going to show you how to make uh, salt dough objects. You can use salt dough to make pendants for a necklace, you can make ornaments that you can hang up in your home, or you can make little figurines. It's all up to you. You can make just about anything out of salt dough, and you probably have the ingredients to make it in your kitchen. If you've never made it before, stick around. I'm going to show you how. So when we make salt dough, it's kind of the same way that we made glue. We're going to use relative measurements. So it doesn't really matter what size cups you have, just as long as you're using the same size for every ingredient. We're going to start by using one cup of plain flour. Don't use self-rising flour, just all-purpose flour. In it goes. And half a cup of salt. So this dough is not going to be very yummy. It's going to be super salty if you tried to eat it. So we'll just give that a mix. And then we're going to use up to one cup of water. So here's our water. We're probably not going to use all of it. We're just going to pour in a little bit at a time. And we'll mix it up. and just see how your dough is turning out. If you've got too little water, it's gonna be crumbly. So then you know you need to add more water. If you have too much water, it's gonna be too sticky. And if that happens, and just put a little bit more flour in. So I think this is good. You want it to be nice and easy to work with, but not too sticky. So when you're done, you get this nice stretchy dough ball. So now that we have our dough ball, we're ready to go ahead and make our shapes. I'm going to start by rolling some of mine out. So just like if you were making a pie or cookies, you're going to want to spread some flour on your table. You grab a, your rolling pin and put a little flour on that. Some of our dough. And just break a little piece off and roll it out. And if you find at this point your dough is cracking on you, that means you need a little bit more water. Let's bring you over here so you can see. Okay, I'm gonna take my cookie cutter. put that back in our bowl, we can re-roll that. There we have our little trefoil. And I'm going to take this chopstick and I'm going to make a little hole right here. And I'm going to put that to the side. I have another piece of dough. I'm going to do something else. into a nice little ball. You can see what I'm doing maybe. Roll this out. I'm gonna make this one a little thicker than the last one. And I'm gonna grab a cup. Circle. I'm gonna grab my 
my helper. Hold on just a sec, I'm gonna grab my helper. Okay, I've got my helper. This is Sharla. And Sharla, I'm gonna get her to just step on our dough circle. Right there, like that. Make sure it's all nice and even, but I'm not pressing too hard because I don't want to hurt my helper. And then we have a little Sharla print. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a circle in this. So at this point, when you're happy with what you've created, you can set it aside somewhere where it's out of the way and let it dry for a day or two. Depends on how moist it is in your house. Or you can go ahead and put it in the oven with a grown-up's help for at 200 degrees for two to three hours, depending on how thick your dough is. But just, just watch it because there's a chance if you're baking it that it might crack a little bit. So it's safer to put it aside and just let it air dry, but it's gonna take way longer, up to you. I'm gonna throw mine in the oven and I'll be right back. So welcome back. I know for you it feels like no time has passed, but that's thanks to Movie Magic for me. Half a day has passed. You might be able to tell it's a little darker in here. I got my lights on, but my salt dough is dry. You can tell that it's dry because it feels hard. It sounds hard. It's not squishy when I touch it and it's ready to go. Now we can leave it like this and it would last a really long time, but not forever. So to make it last forever, we're gonna seal it with some kind of sealer. I have this, this sealer here. You could use a clear coat of nail polish. You could use glue. You could use Mod Podge. You could use some kind of varnish, really anything you want to seal this dough so that air doesn't get to it and it won't eventually get moldy. And before I'm gonna seal it, I'm gonna color it. You can use any kind of paint. You can even use markers. So for one of them, I'm gonna use some paint. And I've got some paper towel here so that I don't mess up my table. And I'm going to paint this one with my pearly white paint. And for this one, this is my doggy's footprint. And I'm going to write my doggy's name on it. That's her name. And I'm going to write the year. So there's my doggy's name, and there's the year. This one, I don't have to wait for it to dry because it's a permanent marker, so it dries super fast. All right, so when the front of those is dry, I'm gonna flip them over and coat the back side too. And then when that is dry, we can put a string on them and hang them up somewhere. 
All right, so here are my finished and dry salt dough ornaments. If you guys give this a try, let me know down in the comments or even send me a picture. So until next time, keep on guiding.